And here we are, again, at Clearly Forest. May as well reshow the cutscenes of me entering and whatever, because why not? Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Rayman 3 HD. This is your host, DMJ4106. Damn you, Glowbox. You land on me every freaking time we come here. Anyway, we're back here, clear the forest. Looking for the witch doctor to clear Glowbox of that problem. Ah, get off me! Since he swallowed Andre like a freaking idiot. And well, yeah. Need to get him out. Because, well, it doesn't seem like it's doing anything bad to his health. Just seems more like an inconvenience. Actually, I would imagine that would really hurt. And, well, of course, hoodlums are going to get in our way, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah, the R button is basically a lock-on. Like, sometimes they'll automatically home in to kill the enemies, but... You may still need to, uh, yeah... Lock on to them to actually punch them, so... Keep that in mind. Definitely be ready for combat. Hold the R button so you can always stay on target to them. Well, I gotta remember every little frickin' detail now. Because apparently I don't remember everything like I thought I did. There's the old V2, but I know I'm gonna wait because... I hear hope from somewhere else in here. <laughs> Sounds like he's in such trouble. Help. Get me out of here. My butt itches. Oh, by the way, you can punch while hanging from the ceiling, which is pretty rad. And here's the Titi Cage, finally. The first of these. And well, you can rescue these guys. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you go do that. So, yeah, you see these TTs, and they'll help give you these combat fatigues in order to, uh, you know, progress further. You'll need to rescue the majority of these guys in order to get through. So, yeah. Make sure you do that. Because, well, yeah. Thanks for the combo. Cute little of E2. Eh, I'll deal without it. Actually, should I? No. Go back and get it! <laughs> I want to guarantee myself getting good combos here. I'm going to be a dick about it, but I, I want them. I want these combos, damn it. I want all these points. Glorious, glorious bonus points are mine. Hmm, I thought there was something I wanted to say now. Eh, I forgot. Well, they're going to wish they had to fight with me, which you probably do want to fight with the combat fatigues. Not only for points, but it actually does make it easier. Having these superpowers does actually make you, uh, you know... Does make the fight easier for you. You'll see what I mean. Let me show you. There's some up here. i blocked by a wall. Oh, no! They found me! He's in a corner! Get him! Not actually that threatened, but... Yeah, see? With the tornado punch, you can actually frickin' shrink them. And here's probably the best superpower in the game. I call it the Iron Knuckle. But either way... Yes! Basically, this thing is a super-powered punch. So you can use this to basically destroy walls and stuff. So, make good use of it. Also, Teensy! Uh, I gotta go. Nature calls. Nature call. Oh, I get <laughs> Yeah, you enjoy yourself. Going to the bathroom is quite an endeavor. Good, sir. Ass. <laughs> oh, God, I don't want to screw that up. Where are we going? Jesus. Nibbling his arteries? You know, now I can see that actually being a major health problem. Because he might actually try to kill you from the inside. And to be honest, once he does that, he'll probably be able to get out on his own, so... You're screwed. 
You're screwed, Globox. Oh! Hang on, man. I want to look around. Don't shoot yet. Oh, can't climb that. All right, fine. We having a battle? I guess we're battling. Stupid hoodlums. Ah, oh, the wall! Always use charge-up punches if you're trying to go for a combo, because that'll make things easy. Thankfully, getting hit doesn't make you drop your combo, which is nice. Anyway, uh, I thought another one of the fists came down. Power-ups always do something for Rayman's fists, which is, uh, welcome, I guess. Oh, that would have been nice to have earlier. Huh. Completely did not notice those back there. Remember, always collect those little red lums to get yourself some health back. Come on, Goldbox, you got to do. Once I'm actually telling you to follow his advice. Oh, God, plum juice. Oh, God, he doesn't like that stuff. Well, sucks to be. Whoa, what the? Wow. What the hell? Okay, apparently it's giving him superpowers. I wonder if this is because of Globox or Andre. But yeah. We gotta swim up a waterfall since apparently Globox is capable of such a thing. And oh, there we go. Thanks, Globox. I'm actually surprised you helped me. You like never do anything like that. Yes! Perfection! Perfection. <laughs> anyway, let's get going, shall we? We still got more to explore. Because clearly, I haven't found a witch doctor yet. Oh, shut up already. Ass. I keep in mind, there are a lot of secrets to find. Anyway. Yeah. My god. Jeez. We'll get there, I promise. Probably. I'm gonna wait, because I know there's gotta be a power to get here, so. Oh, I should have killed that one. Well. Surprise, dick! Oh, crap. Got off. Haha. Ow. There you are. Haha. Oh, out of range. You lucked out. Where's the one that has the ability for me? I gotta make sure I don't... Oh, God! Ow! You guys are also capable of close-range combat. Oh, your kicking does still exist if you, uh... Yeah. If you fight... Um... If you fight enemies from very close range, you'll still have your, uh kicks. That's the only time he'll actually kick, though. I'm still gonna wait, because there's something better I can get in this room. That's the other thing about the score. You really gotta know, like, the rooms ahead of time before you actually start going after the score and all that, because... Well... Knowing how to approach the score is very important. Ow, what the... I ran to a wall, basically. And the wall was my own fist. Don't know how much sense that makes, but you know what? I'll just accept it for whatever it is. Sounds weird, but yeah, why not? Accept it. All oh, right. I do a powered up punch to break through that. Ah, screw it. The combo's more important than the times two multiplier. Always gotta think about it two ways. Maintaining a combo? Or getting the times two multiplier involved? I'll say this. While originally the times two multiplier take priority, the combo actually increases its own multiplier as you get items. So... If you lose the combat fatigues while you're going for a combo, hey, if you can if you can continue to maintain the combo, do that instead. Because trust me, your score will be better off. Because instead of just getting times two, well, you'll be getting times three or times four. 
Although, if you go back for your combat fatigues, you're gonna lose that combo, so you'll end up losing points in the long run, so... If you're in a very long combo, don't even bother going back for a combat fatigue. Wow, really wasn't worth it there, was it? And I played stupid again. Whatever. Alright. Well. Let's go in there, I guess. Gotta make sure I get everything I can find in this place. Also, I see there's something up there. Well, that's what I need the iron knuckle for. Oh! It's a teensy. I wish I could combo into that, because I know exactly where that one drops. That's one of the optional teensies. And well... Yeah, as you can probably guess, the optional teensies tend to give you stuff you don't need. But well, it's useful to have. Get out of there! Now. See, he dropped a green jewel. Whoa, what was I going to say originally? I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I'm speaking like that, then I know I'm saying something wrong. <laughs> Yikes. Enough about me being stupid. Careful, some... Some green gems will disappear for a while. Ah, oh, frick! Mmm, that's what I get for squandering. Just hit a piggy bank. Well, missed out on 1,500 points. I suck. Ah! I probably should practice more of this game. At this point, it's too late. I'll be the best I can be. Oh, yeah. How's Goldbox getting here? Well, we already know at this point. Wah! Jeez! I guess it's Andre moving him like that. Because I don't think he'd normally go that fast. Oh, God! Um... Oh, God! Oh, fuck you! Finally, you can fly! I've flown before, too, dude! Rayman 1 and 3. And two. Ah! Yeah, you enjoy yourself. Well, you have fun. I'm just gonna go over here. They give you the subtitles and actual cutscenes going on, but when there's not anything happening, I mean, when you're still playing mainly the game, you're not gonna get those subtitles, so. I guess pay attention to them when you get them? Sure. I remember, I hate getting... Yeah, I hate getting this tri-bell. Now I know what to do, it'll actually be pretty easy. Just walk. It's actually pretty easy, as long as you don't run full speed at the freaking thing. It took me a while to figure out how to actually get that, because... Back in the day, I used to always run on those things. So I always thought they were checkpoints of the stage. Which, when I thought about it, when I died, they weren't. So, yeah. Just chalk it up to me being stupid. <laughs> Frickin' tribells. Whatever. Anyway, let's get going, shall we? Another teensy wide in the wide open. You must have something good for me, right? You better. Ow! You're a dick to your friends. I, gotta go finish my yogurt. I don't think it'll be a good condition if you're finishing it up now. But, alright, go ahead. And here's one that's normally a power in the other Rayman games. Chain Claw. Yeah. Look up and get a grip. Get a grip on life, bro. Anyway, yeah. Now you can attach to these. So yeah, this is normally just a normal power-up you get in the other Rayman games. Also, I noticed an V2 I've never seen before. This thing can also latch on enemies, and if you keep hitting X, you can, uh, well... Yeah. Ah, oh, yes! Got that. Beautiful combo, baby. If you mash X when you latch onto them, well, you can get a lot of good points off of them, so... Well, you can just kill them. 
The power, the power of electrocution is a strong one. Yes, indeed. Let's make good use of it. I know I will. In fact, I'm hoping. I know there's another tri bell nearby. Oh, screw you! Bye, hoodlums. Man, I wish I could kill them. Cause now I'm just gonna run off and find another host. I'm failing my job as a protector. I screwed up badly. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm a horrible, horrible guardian or whatever the hell Rayman actually is. Because calling him a guardian is a little false to what he actually is, so. I'd rather get the tribell normally than go for a combo. Ugh, oh, good. As long as I got it, I don't really care. Now let's use this chain. Let's use this electrocution chain of mine to really start making some progress. Go! I got a lot of points already. I'm doing well. Oh, look, you actually landed somewhere, and now you're drunk. Oh. Well, that's your fault. That's right, I blame you! Oh no, they know I'm here. Oh god, that got glitched. That was a little weird. I'm, I'm assuming I'm the only person who... I'm not the only person who saw that middle number freaking come up oddly. Aha! Alright, there we go. I got the combo. Good enough. As long as I maintain the combo, it doesn't matter if I have the... if I have a doubler on me or not. Okay, now we'll go find the double. Which there's another enemy. I remember. It's over here, right? Nope. I'll let you live. I need to go here anyway. Ooh, a hole to punch through. You're the one. I just have to punch through the wall. I'm bad at this. Hang on. There we go. Ow. Oh, the Teensy has it. That's what it is. Well, now they want to die. All right, not only does it a strong, tough object, it's also a stronger weapon against enemies, so... You can get through them a lot more easily, because, well... Yeah, you got super-powered fi fists, basically. Unfortunately, it don't last as long as either the Chain Fist or the uh, Tornado Fist. I don't know what the... what the uh, superpowers are actually called, so forgive me for that, but... I just call it based on the fist. Because I feel like that's the prominent feature, but maybe I'm wrong here. Am I? Let me know if I'm wrong. I probably am. Aha! Take that, asshole. Well, there we go. He's dead now anyway. Oh, God. Could you stop tor torturing the poor guy? My God, Andre. You are a dick. Well... Bad guy's gotta have his fun, I guess. And tormenting people is his way of having fun. Man, what a dick. How could you get off living like that? I don't I don't get it. I can't understand how being an asshole all the time can be fun for you, but... Hey, that's because I'm not a super asshole. I wouldn't understand. Ah, oh, the plums! Brought these back for Rayman 2. Actually, they were probably Rayman 1 as well. Which, well... They made them simpler to use in this game. They're a lot better in this game than Rayman 2, I can say that much. Oh, Rayman 2, they were a nightmare. Good level mechanic, but a nightmare to use. I won't lie about that. <laughs> they were certainly a nightmare. Uh, good score, baby, good score. And we got a new bonus level, sweet. Coming down. All right. Well, that went well. Yeah, I think I'll stop this episode here. I know my episode lengths are getting a little odd right now, but... Yeah, I don't need to go too too hectic with it. We're halfway to the level anyway, pretty much. So, it's a good time to stop. I really have no idea how my form is going to be for the episodes, but I'm going to hope I can do enough episodes to cover the entirety of a level and not, like, do part of one in the middle of it. But that could happen. So, be prepared. 
Anyway, we'll do that for this episode. Come back next time. We'll continue our way through Clearly Forest as we, um, continue to hunt for the Witch Doctor. Where the hell is this guy? I was hoping to be out in the open, but this place is just full of bad guys and everything. Couldn't they? You'd think they would have, like, a door to him immediately in the heart of the world, but no. They gotta have you... They gotta have a transport to some random location in the middle of nowhere because they think that's safer than putting it... Actually, that probably is safer. Oh, God damn it! This is why I don't do politics.